up, 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 you up. My father always told me, you must find happiness where you can. These were bad times in my country. Apartheid activist Patrick Chamuso was sentenced to Robben Island for 24 years in South Africa in the 1980s, allegedly for planting bombs in the Secunda oil refinery where he worked. Catch a Fire is his story. It shows how the regime treated the people because you couldn't uh, walk even from 9 o'clock during the night. You couldn't do whatever you wanted to do. You couldn't move from city to city. And uh, if they want, they could accuse you for something that you haven't done, which happened to me. They, I was arrested without doing anything for the first time. Then the second time, really, I said, no, I better do something. It took years to finally bring Patrick's life to the screen. Patrick says he was surprised to find they had cast an almost unknown actor like Derek Luke to portray him. They told me that uh, they are bringing an uh, actor. And I was expecting somebody like uh, Denzel Washington or Samuel Jackson and maybe Cuba Gooden. There I saw Derek Luke, I didn't know him. I was a little bit worried about the American accent. Then after 15 minutes or 20 minutes talking to me, I realized that uh, he can do it because he did ask all about Patrick. And uh, real, I opened my heart for him. He got, he got inside me, he, he did a good job. Director Philip Noyce had Patrick on call 24 hours a day to answer any and all questions to maintain the authenticity of his story. He get what he want, and believe me or not. He used to call me at about 12 o'clock. Said, hey Patrick, what happens in here? And uh, I said, this time of the day, man, I'm an old man, how can I? He said, no, I'm an old man too, but try to remember, I'm picking you tomorrow morning. Six o'clock, the car was there to pick me up to go to the scene. And really, uh, I did help a lot too. Uh, that's why the movie is so very close to the truth. Living by the South African creed of forgiveness, Patrick has forgiven his captors because without that, he says he could never move on with his life. He now lives with his wife, whom he married after his release from prison with three children of their own, as well as fostering children in his orphanage, two sisters, near his hometown of Mozambique. The five million blacks, three million white people, we the ones under attack.